Okay, y'all, this is definitely going to be another one of those get it or regret it videos. These are press on false lashes. Press on. You don't need any glue. You don't need to apply any glue. They have glue already on them. You actually apply them from underneath rather than on top. Y'all, I saw this on TikTok. It was a viral video. I have struggled my entire life to try to put on fake lashes. I have never been successful putting on fake lashes. I have literally cried. I am not exaggerating when I say that. Tears have actually fallen from my eyes because I could not put on fake lashes. It was back before I had my upper blepharoplasty. I was trying to do everything to camouflage that skin that was just laying on my eyelash line. And um, I would wear a lot of heavy makeup just to camouflage, you know, the aging process. And so I wanted to be able to wear lashes without having to wear the heavy eyeshadow, but I was never successful with it. Now I've had an upper blepharoplasty, so, you know, I'm not doing it for that reason. Now it's just that I still don't want to wear the heavy eyeshadow. I was wearing it, you know, up until kind of now because I was still trying to camouflage my visible scars. Now it's been about four months. I had it on April 18th and they are almost undetectable. And so now I want to stop wearing heavy eyeshadow, but I, I still want some sort of contrast with my eyes, you know, and I would even like them to look a little bit like wider this way. And so I wanted to wear fake lashes. So whenever I saw this, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Purchased them, applied them, super, super easy. I had to adjust one, wore them for three straight days. And I don't wash my hair every day, so it's so easy to get in the shower and just wash myself from the neck down and stuff without dousing my my face in water. So they stayed on for three days. They're so comfortable. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. Let me show you how I apply them. And you guys are gonna love this one. This is what they look like. They come in these little clusters. As you can see, I used four. Oops, that one's falling off. As you can see, I used four. I only did the outside corners of my eyes and I think it looks so pretty that way, but I haven't seen it in video. So maybe, I don't know if it's still gonna look that way, but I'm gonna do it like that today just to, to do a quick demonstration. And so you use this little tool right here to put them on. All you do is press them up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. You are gonna love this. If you're challenged like me, you're gonna love this. Okay, so I got, these are called spiky. And all you do is you pull them off, you know, the, this. <laughs> And you, you can pull them off with this if you'd like. I just pull them off with my fingers. And there might be a little bit of like the sticky stuff that keeps them to the packaging. You might wanna go ahead and try to get that off before you put them on because I did put one on the first time that still had it on the bottom and I was like, oh shoot, because I could kind of see it. So let me do that real fast. Okay, yeah, I think I got all the little adhesive off the bottom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in your little tool like this, and you are just going to press it up under, underneath. And watch how easy this is. I like to just kind of pull up my eye a little bit and then go just like, you wanna get it as close to the waterline as possible and then just push up and it is on. <laughs> Look how quick that was. Now I'm just gonna press it together using this tool just to make sure it's on there really good and tight. You can do this two ways. You can either do it with just your fingers, which is makes it really, really easy, just like that. Look at that. Look how easy that was. It's a press on. Okay, so now let's put this other one on. I'm gonna put it right up close to, you know, the edge of that one, as, as close as I can get. So let's see. Look at that. Do you see how fast that was? Press, press, press. Y'all, it's on. That is so crazy. Isn't that beautiful? Like, do I even need anything on the inside? I feel like I just, you know, when I put my first ones on, let me press it. It's, it's like putting on hair extensions. Like when you think of those tape extensions, that's what it seems like. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Now I'm actually going to trim them a little just so they blend a little bit better. You see where my natural eyelashes are? They're so short and so tiny. I can cut and I use these. I use like little pointed clippers rather than 
like scissors because I don't have as much control, I don't think. And so what I like to do is I just like to kind of clip the inside ones, you know, just a little bit, just shorten them just a little bit so that it kind of goes shorter, longer, longer, you know? Okay, y'all check that out. Look at the difference. And they just are automatically curled. And it's like a perfect curl, you know? It's just kind of makes my eyes look more kind of cat eye. So, like I said, I could just put a little bit of mascara there. I'm not gonna put any more on. And I'm just gonna press a couple more times just to know that it's on there really good. Look, another thing that I wanted to mention is that when you're taking it off the packaging here, you don't wanna grab it too close to the lash line, you know, because you don't want that adhesive to get on your tool and not where it's supposed to be, you know? Um, so you gotta be careful. Now I took the adhesive off the bottom. That, that's the only con I think to this is that the adhesive from the packaging wants to stick to the bottom. Okay, so let's try this other eye and let's see. So this is what you do. Press, look how quickly that went on. Press it with your fingers. Done. Okay, and then just, just press up like that. That's all you have to do. Wow, look at how quick that was. Okay, let's put one more on, and then we are gonna call it a day. Y'all, if y'all think I'm doing this and making it look effortless, imagine if I wasn't having to record. Like when you're recording, you're like, okay, is my angle right? Are y'all seeing what I'm doing, you know? But if, if, if I wasn't doing this, I would be straight on with my mirror, not sideways like this. Okay, there it is, let go, push it. That's it. That is it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, see how, see how that eyelash closest to the inside is so, so much longer? I don't want that. I want the longer ones on the outside, so I'm gonna trim that one also. Okay, okay. what do you think? Isn't that amazing? Isn't it so amazing how easy that was? And look what it did to my eyes. Like it just makes them look so much like wider and longer this way. Now the only mistake that I can tell that I made is that on this eye, I placed it closer to the absolute outer corner. Whereas on this one, I left a little baby bit of space there. But I think that, you know, with practice, this is only my second time ever putting these on. And look how, I just love them. And I actually love just putting them on the outside corners, two on each side, um, because I like that look where it looks shorter, longer, longer, longer. Anyway, this is what they look like close up. And I feel like they just look so, so pretty. Y'all, one more thing that I wanted to say about these eyelashes is that I don't even feel them on. Like they, it doesn't feel like nothing's blocking my vision. Like at first I thought, God, if you put them up underneath, isn't something gonna be blocking your vision or something? Or aren't they gonna feel heavy? Because the times that I've tried to put on eyelashes before, that was one of the things. Even if I got them on, they felt so heavy and they even made my eyes look heavier, I thought. So I've never had any luck. These, I feel like it doesn't even feel like I have anything on. And they just look so beautiful. Y'all just wait if you sleep in them like I did. Because I was afraid, what if they irritate my eyes? They didn't irritate my eyes, nothing like that. When you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself first thing and you're used to looking at yourself and being like, wow, I look tired. When you have these on, it's it feels like you just woke up with all your makeup on. Like I feel like if we women just had natural eyelashes like this, we wouldn't even need eye makeup because this is just, I don't know, it just gives such a beautiful illusion to a woman's eyes and face, right? So anyway, I'm so glad that I finally have been able to find some lashes that I can apply very easily. I should title this like lashes for dummies or something like that. Maybe I will, I don't know, I don't know. I'd rather say like no glue, you know, no mess, easy to, I don't know, something. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Anyway, I just, I love these so much. So I'm gonna put a link to these 
in my description box below. Now I do want to say I got these off Amazon. They were $14.95, which I thought, oh, that's a little steep, but they last, like I said, for three days. I could have left them on for longer, but I had a meeting with the staff at my son's school because as most of you know, he's autistic. And so we have to have these, they're called ARD meetings. And I was thinking, God, this is like the third day I've had these on. I better take them off. Cause what if one of them like got, came loose or something during the meeting I would be so embarrassed so um so they could have lasted longer I'm not sure but anyway definitely worth the cost I'm not even sure they might sell them in store I haven't checked yet because I just got them like three days ago and I applied them right away and I just could not believe it I I went you should have seen how I ran in there to my husband going look at me look at me <laughs> like he was there <laughs> whenever I cried about my not being able to put on lashes um and you know it was back when i was like really wanted an upper blepharoplasty but i was so scared when you are considering something like that you have to get to your breaking point to go even if the results are not exactly what i want it's still going to be better than this you know and i had finally gotten to that breaking point which is why i i got the upper blepharoplasty i'm so glad that i did easiest recovery ever Four months later, you can almost not see the scars whatsoever. And just one of the best things that I've ever done. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you're having a fantastic weekend and hopefully I'll see you back here next week.